Hey guys, Obelisk here again, here with another installment to my Dayak overview video series. Um, today we're not going to be going over a class in particular or anything like that. We're going to be going over a program called AutoHotKey. And what AutoHotKey does is it allows you to double bind um, multiple spells to the same key. Uh, for example, on my Bard, I use my E button, my E key. I use that as my AoE mez, as well as my Cure Disease. And I'll show you how to set that up, and I'll also show you some various uses you might want to use um, on things like um, support um, that have offensive and de defensive spells. So druids, clerics, shamans, healers, bards, all come to mind. Also, on any tank that swaps weapons, um, any tank that has slam and then wants to pull out a two-hander directly after helps with that. Um, also, if you'd like to back up styles, so if you want one button to hit your side and back snare, you can do that. Um, there are tons of uses. We'll go through some of them, and I'll show you how to set up um, the scripts. It's not too hard. It looks complicated at first, but it's pretty simple. Um, so let's hop into the game here. I'm on my bard right now. Um, what we're going to do is, let me see what, if I have a script loaded. Okay. What I'm going to do is show you my cubine list just to show you where my buttons are. Okay. So we're on bar seven here, and we're going to want to look at mez and my cure disease. So as you can see here, um, bank seven, slot three is my AOE mez, and that's bound to E. My cure disease is bound to F7. Um, bank seven, slot nine is F7. So if I want to cast cure disease, I hit F7. However, with auto hotkey, what it does is that when I press E, it's going to send E and F7. And I'll pull up the script really quick so we can look at that. All right, so right here, here's where we're looking at. And I have it labeled as AOE Mez and Disease Cure. Um, I, when I press E, what happens is it sends E and F7. And I'll show you how to set this up in a second. And I'll also probably put a sample script um, into a paste bin and put it in the description of this video so you guys can use that as a, uh, as a basis for your, your scripts. Anyway, so let's get back in game. Uh, actually, I need to activate the script. Let's turn on the script. Um, I have a folder full of stuff. Um, I just label them by class. And for example, smite cleric, regular cleric, um, label them however you need. But I'm going to be using the bard. And I'll need to run this as administrator. It's not going to function. So make sure you run it as admin. And you can see down here in my system tray, um, bard.ahk is running. So I'll get back into game. I'll target this training dummy. And what's going to happen when I hit E is it's going to send um, e normally, so it's going to send the AOE mez, but it's also going to send F7, and so it's going to try the disease cure. What's going to happen is it's going to cast the mez, and it's not going to cast the disease cure because it's an enemy player. So I'll hit E. As you can see down here, it says that you're casting Captivate Army, and it also says you, you're already casting a spell. So what it's trying to do is cast a spell behind Captivate Army. However, I was already casting. I have no Q on, um, so it's not going to do anything. So as you can see here, we'll, we'll cast like a few more times. We're just on an enemy player's E sends AOE mez. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to target myself and then I'm going to press E. And what you see here is you can't attack yourself. That's because it tried to use my AOE mez, Captivate Army, and then the next key was F7 that it sent, so it cast Disease Gear. Um, so when you're targeting friendly players, it's going to send the helpful spells like heals, Cure Disease, Cure Mezes, things like that. When you're targeting um, enemy players, it's going to send the offensive spells. It, it can't cast. See, when I try to cast Disease Cure on one of these guys, it says the spell only works on your own realm. So it's not going to cast anything. So what I also have, we'll go back to my script, is when I send Q, it's going to send Q and F5. My Q is my AOE Amnesia. My F5 is my Greater Heal. So when I press Q on a training dummy, it sends the AOE Amnesia. When I press Q on myself, it sends the greater heal. Um, I do the same thing with uh, my E, which is, or sorry, my W, which is W and F6. That's my root and my major heal. So I root enemies and I major heal my friends and myself. Um, my Z key is my disease, my seal disease. And also on friendly targets is my DMAS. Um, and you can, you can do more. I just didn't need to do more than uh, four spells. Uh, for example, your AOE mez, you can put Cure Poison or whatever on it, whatever other friendly spells you have, Crescendo, things like that. On my R, my Single Amnesia, Crescendo, Cure Poison, whatever you want, really. 
I would, you, you, what you need to do is not put spells like group heals, things that don't require targets on here because that's gonna mess up. You want targeted spells, things that require a friendly or an enemy target, not spells that you know you can cast on friends or enemies or um, untargeted spells like celerity and group heals and group cure disease, things like that. So that's a, a really good thing to do, use on um, healers, bards, um, druids, clerics, shamans, anything that has offensive and friendly spells. Other things you can do are things like, let's log on my ranger here. And for my ranger, I have it set to pull out my bow when I'm trying to shoot something and to pull out my um, dual wield when I'm trying to melee something. So let's take this guy to RVR real quick. Also, I have it set up to where when I use my standard shot, which is, I believe, Q, what it's going to do is it's going to try to crit shot first. If I'm not stealth, it'll standard shot. Um, but every time I hit one, it's going to try to crit shot. But crit shot only fires when you're stealth. So um, we'll pull up. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close out this. Find my ranger. We'll go ahead and run it as administrator. Remember to do that. And we'll open it up. Also, another way to edit the scripts is to go in your system tray, right click the, um, the actual icon, and you can hit edit the script and you can make any changes here. All right. So, just to do a quick keybind overview, to pull out my bow, that's going to be F8. And I believe I have it Q bound somewhere here. Eight slot eight, or sorry, quick bar eight slot four. So when I press F8, it pulls out my bow. When I press F9, it pulls out my weapons. So F8's bow, F9's weapons. So if we go in here and look at my Q button, it's gonna pull out my bow first. It's gonna send two instances of F5, which is my crit shot. And I want it to do this because um, sometimes if it only sends once, it'll kind of get them mixed around sometimes and try to send that cue before F5 if it's kind of laggy or something. So I want to make sure it hits that crit shot. So it's going to send crit shot twice just to make sure it casts crit shot. And then it's going to send Q, which is my standard shot. So we'll, let's see, we'll find it here. So bank seven slot one, standard shot. And then crit shot is bank seven slot five. So what we're going to do is we're going to stealth just to show you, I'm going to pull out my weapons, put them up, stealth. I'm going to target one of these guys, and I'm going to hit Q. If you see here, that one Q pulled out my bow, cast a crit shot, and it tried to cast another spell, and that was probably standard shot, just to, um, but I was already casting, so it's going to, it's going to resume the, the, it's going to hit the crit shot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spam Q for a little bit, and you'll see me um, trying to, you know, casting multiples. I'm trying to cast multiple spells when I hit Q because it's trying to queue up the crit shot. Now what I want to do is I want to swap to my main bar and that has my melee styles on it. That has two of my melee styles. However, my side stun and back snare are going to be on my S key, I believe. If I'm, yep, S, okay. So here's what happens when I hit S. It's going to send F9, which is to pull out my weapons. It's going to send S, which is my side stun. And it's going to send F7, which is my back snare. So we'll run over here. Let's get this stuff out of the way so we can see. Run over to this guy. And when I hit S, I'm hitting one key. It pulled out my weapons. It had Sidestorm. And then it tried to follow up with Hurricane, but Sidestorm had landed. So Hurricane would have been my next style. I'll go to the back, hit S. And then you prepare to, or sorry, you prepare to um, perform Ice Storm and use Hurricane as a follow up. Pull out my bow again, try it again, S. Does the same thing, swaps to my weapon and performs two styles. So what I'll do if I have a tank on me is I'll just try to do a quick run through and then hit my S key and then hopefully hit a stun or a snare and then run off and then boom. And then I'll turn around, hit Q and pull out my bow. There's nothing I have to do. I don't have to pull out my bow manually. I just hit Q and it automatically pulls out my bow. I just run over and hit S, pulls out my weapons, side stuns and back snares. Um, other things you can do, I can, when I hit shift S, which is, you have to enter it um, a little bit differently in your macro program, it tries to side snare. So I'll pull out my bow again, 
shift S and then it hits my side snare. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, I mean, I have tons of double binds on my Ranger because every spell requires me to pull out my bow or pull out my weapon. And I want to make sure um, I don't have to do that manually. So pretty much every offensive spell, any spell I cast on Ranger, other than like um, Zephyr, Fascia, Purge, Speed Burst, things like that, change weapons. Um, so it's super useful there. So I don't have to constantly remember to swap weapons. It's just, it's something that makes um, your life a lot easier. Um, it's completely legal now. Um, and Broadsword has confirmed that, that you can use one, one button equals multiple binds on one character. Um, one second, let me respond to this. Now what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to actually edit and create these scripts. So what I'm going to do is you need to first download the program, which is autohockey.com. It's a quick download, super easy. I'll put a link in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you can open up. I made an auto hockey folder, go to new auto hockey script here. Actually, I don't think you saw that. I think my webcam was in the way. So we'll go up here, new auto hockey script test scripts and we'll open it up actually my mistake don't open it up what you want to do is you want to i'm going to turn off this script for now what i'm going to do is right click it open with and notepad i'm going to select all this and just go ahead and delete that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a basic script for example my bard which is a little bit more basic than my ranger hit Control c copy it all and then paste it into this new script. And then I'll test scripts. Actually, let's do test ranger. Since we're already on the ranger, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make a new ranger script real quick. Just a simple one. This line right here, just leave that as it is. Um, the things you want to look at here are this numlock button. This is your toggle to pause and turn on the script. So if you want to turn off the script and just have everything work normal, I hit numlock. You can change this to whatever button you want. I use numlock because it's out of the way. Um, and I have that unbound on my keyboard in my, in my settings. Um, but if you want to change it to like F12, for example, you would do these brackets, F12, close these brackets. These I don't know what these brackets are called, but it's the squiggly brackets. Um, any F key is going to require these brackets. But I'm going to use numlock. I believe it's like that. Okay. And that's gonna um, this gonna toggle my suspension of the, the program. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at. I'll go ahead and delete all this. We'll look at one instance, and this is gonna turn my Q button into my standard shot. Let's just do that. So what I want it to do is I want when I hit Q. Let's see. Standard shot. So Q is the button you press with the followed by the two colons. Um, if I wanted to change my E key, I would put E there. So you do Q colon colon, and then on the next line, sin comma, and then whatever you put here is what is going to happen when you press Q. So for my Ranger, what I want to happen is since my bow key is F8, I'm going to use F8 and you don't have to uppercase F, but remember to put it in these squiggly brackets and then I'm going to hit Q. So what this is going to send is F8 and then Q, okay? And then your next line, you just put return and then hit enter twice. And then that's this command set. Also, what we're going to do, if you remember my S key was my um, side stun and back snare, I'll do semicolon, side stun and back snare. And then I'll have S colon colon send comma and what i need to do is my f9 is my weapons key so f9 and then what i want to do is hit s and also i believe my what was my back snare bound to my back snare was bound to f7 so what i need to do is then hit these brackets f7 close the brackets enter return space space okay so this is going to allow me when i hit s it's going to send f9 first and then s and then f7 now, the reason I want to use a lot of F keys in this is because if I'm typing, like if I open up a group chat, I don't want to, you know, have my S key send S and P, for example, because if I type stop, it's going to send S, P, T, O, 
P, you know, it's going to add those extra characters when you're typing. So it's going to get pretty obnoxious. And then you'll probably have to pause your script every time you want to type. Um, so I just use my F keys um, when I'm, especially when I'm using things like numbers or, or letters. Um, also, this command right here up at the top, this will only allow this script to work if you have um, Dayoc open. So if you want this script going for other games or whatever, just take away this line right here. Um, and this is a basic script, you know, this is pretty much it. Um, there are things you can do, like if you want, for example, side snare, um, I believe plus S is when I hit shift S. So if my coupon, I want, when I press shift S, I want it to send a certain um, command. I'll add shift as, or plus as the modifier for shift. I think alt might be star. I can't remember. There's some resources online. I don't use these that often for shift binds. I try to stay away from them because they get complicated. And then also, I'm not sure, like when you hit send, I'm not sure how to, I don't think you can do like plus S. I don't think that works. So what I do is I bind, let's see, let me, okay. I just rebind my shift S key. So I'll send F9, that's for my weapon to come out. And then I'll send F6. And that's where I have my side snare bound to. Enter, return, enter, enter, and then you're good. So what we'll do is we'll save, save this. And that saves as my, what was it, test, test script. So then I'll hit run as administrator. And we have it down here. So let's see if this works. Remember our cue was supposed to pull out our bow and then standard shot. So that's it worked successfully. Our S was supposed to side snare and, or side stun and back snare. So there's the back snare and there's the side stun. And our shift S was supposed to side snare. Okay, so everything worked. So that was a pretty simple script. Um, just pretty much use my template, use what's up here, and then what this, um, let's see, this pound sign, use hook off. Just keep those where they are, and then just edit what's in the guts. And you can also edit your toggle switch. Um, but from there on, I would just, I would just keep this. And any anytime there's a semicolon, that's a label. So you can you know, label these, whatever you want, um, label the script, whatever. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to put all that in the description and I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions about it, put it in the comments. Maybe I can help you out more. I don't know a ton about this program. I do know how to make basic scripts. So that's that. If you have a cool keyboard that lets you double bind keys, you can as well through your keyboard settings. Every keyboard um, setting is going to be different or every keyboard software is going to be different. So I can't really help you there. Um, I use a Corsair keyboard that allows me to remap my keyboard. So Technically, I don't even need to use auto hotkey. I would just have to create scripts or profiles, I guess, for each class within my keyboard. However, I still use auto hotkey because it's just easy because um, all my scripts are different for every class. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about auto hotkey and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.